Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where in today's video we will be going over how to add a free custom domain to your Minecraft server. Just so you know, Steamways giveaway of 2 Minecraft accounts, 2 VIP ranks, and 10 random Steam keys is still going on. Make sure to enter by joining the Discord server in the description, then going to the partner giveaways channel and reacting to the giveaway message. Just so you know, most of my viewers aren't subscribed, so if you could subscribe, that would really help me out. Also, thank you so much for the support on the first video of this series. It is 30 likes as of now, which is crazy for my subscriber count. And I decided to make this video because you liked the first one so much. If we can aim for 40 likes in the first 48 hours, I'll release the next video, which is teaching you guys how to add plugins to this server, within this time frame. So please, like the video if you enjoy. And now, on with the video. First off, if you haven't watched the first video in this series, you might need to go watch it to get caught up to where we are right now, so click on the top right hand corner of your screen to watch the first video. However, the method I am using now will work on all servers as long as you do have a dedicated IP address, and if you don't, make sure to join my Discord server and I'll help you personally add a free domain to your Minecraft server. But as you might have noticed when we were using Hamachi in the first server, it gives us an IP address that is kinda tricky to remember, so in order to make it easier for your players to remember the server IP, we can link a domain to the server. But in order to get this domain, you will need to go to freenom.com, which will actually be the first link in the description. And freenom is a website that gives you free domains. They are 100% free, and that's why we'll be using them for this video. From here, we can type in the domain that we would want for our server. For this video, we can use Subdisource Admin, but you can put whatever you'd like here. Then we just click on the button that says check availability right here. Once we click this, a couple of domains will pop up that you can select from. My personal preference is that I like to use the domain .ml, but they really are all the same and you can choose from whichever you'd like. Once you've decided which domain you can use, you just need to click on the get it now button right here and the item will be added to your cart. Now all you really need to do is click on the checkout button and go through the purchase process. When you're doing this, I highly recommend you click on the drop down arrow here and click on 12 months just so you won't have to renew this for another 12 months. Now that you have purchased your domain, you should have been taken back to a main screen of Freedoms. From here, click on the services tab and then click on my domains. It should take you a page that looks something similar to this and then you just need to click on the manage domain of the one that you actually want to edit. From here you need to click on the manage freenom DNS button over here and it should take you to a similar page that looks something like this. From here you will have to have your server started and have Hamachi open and running. Go to Hamachi and copy the IP4 address and to do this you just need to right click on the top over here and click on copy IP4 address. Now you need to go back to the free non page and paste it in the target section. And under the name section you can choose what you want to do here. This is what goes in front of your domain so for an example with the domain mc.publicsmp, mc would be under the name category. For this video, I'll just use MC again, but you can use exactly whatever you'd like to do here. Now, all you really need to do is click on save changes and wait from 15 to 30 minutes for DNS servers to update. After waiting a couple of minutes, we can now check and see if the domain is working. To access the server using the domain, you will need to put whatever you put in the name category in front of the actual domain. So if you put play as the name and hypixel.net as the domain, you'd have to enter play.hypixel.net to get into the server. So for my scenario here, I'm going to click on multiplayer add server and then type in mc.sub to source admin dot ml and then click done as you can see here it came up with the same MOTD as the one that has my actual IP and if I click on here it might take a second for me to log in but I should be able to get right into my Minecraft server but yeah, I really do hope this helped you out a little bit, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did enjoy this video and want to see more from me, make sure to hit that like button. Like I said at the beginning, if I get 40 likes in the first 48 hours, I'll release the next video, which is teaching you guys how to add plugins to your server within the next 48 hours of this video. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.